Welcome guys to the human infantry tips and tricks video. Once again, as with all my videos, if you disagree with any of this, if you think I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, maybe join me over on Twitch at some point to see this stuff happening live. Regardless guys, let's get right into it and enjoy. So you've spawned in and all the quads have run off. You've got nothing to do. You could walk around as a rifleman or a scout, but the best thing you can actually do for your team is to get your commander to have one of the harvesters chill out so that you can hop in. Because fundamentally the AI for these things is better, but still broken on levels that make no sense. So you being in control of the harvester basically will enhance and speed up your economy of your commander which basically means you're getting tanks faster this is the best thing you can do early game as a infantryman so fun fact as the human infantry you can actually climb this is done by holding space now it is a little finicky where you can do this but it allows you to get up a lot more surfaces that you otherwise wouldn't be able to like that. Human bones are brittle and do not survive falls from heights very well, though we somehow managed to survive that. So early game, the hunters are the most dangerous unit you'll run into. However, the light quad does have the ability to outrun the hunters with little issue at all. But you're gonna to need to be careful because even though you can outrun it, watch out for where you're driving. Because if you flip or make a mistake or get caught in the rocks, it's gonna end very, very quickly for you. If you spawn in and there's no vehicles, nothing available, and you're just gonna go out as an infantryman, that's fine. Make sure you're going out as something other than the scout. Grab a class from the barracks that your commander has hopefully placed in a good position. Move over towards the teleporters, which are always highlighted on your map. Enter the teleporter. And this doesn't tell you much in here, but if you press M, you can bring up the, the overlay map, which has a lot more information. Choose a spot, press E, and you're gonna drop into the fight. Having a, the right class and dropping in in certain locations or fights, you can really do a lot of damage. So your commander has secured the base. There are units protecting the harvesters and all the assets. And now you have free reign to do whatever you like. There are two things you should be looking to do above all else. The first thing you should be doing is as you travel around the map, look for these creep nodes. These are essential to the aliens expanding outwards, but finding them and destroying them costs the aliens both time, money, and generally just makes you an annoying little shit. The second thing you should be doing is scouting out for the enemy economy. The alien economy is incredibly vulnerable due to the fact that they're so weak. However, in some scenarios, you might not be able to get exactly where you need to go. So communicate with your other human players and have them teleport in right on top of you to support you in attacking the enemy economy. Now, if there are multiple players that you're playing with who can do this, you can be incredibly effective. But remember, vehicles also suffer from fall damage. So a few key binds as the infantryman. Q turns on your thermal display. This will highlight heat signatures at a distance of the bugs. For example, something glinting out there in the distance. Additionally, L turns on your flashlight. This works inside of vehicles just as much as on foot. Though The hover tank and the railgun tank both have a series of boosts. Whereas the railgun tank can only go upwards, the hover tank can also boost forward. This can be incredibly useful in outrunning enemies, chasing down enemies, but also getting into places that you're not meant to be. Additionally, if you hold control and wait a moment, the tank's engines will cut off. 
In the heat signature display, this actually renders you completely invisible. So if you find a good spot in the shadows or against the cliff or on top of a ridge line, you can be completely stealthed effectively. Though if you fire, people are gonna see traces. Another side tip specifically for tanks, within the game are deflection and penetration mechanics. Giggity. Um, the way this works is that by angling armor, you can do more damage or less damage, or in some cases completely negate damage. For the case scenario here, we have a railgun tank in front of us with the armor angled, and we're gonna send a round onto that angled armor. You can see in the lower right, the HP dropping ever so lightly. One more round will go out just for an example. Now, if we move around the flank of this railgun tank and put a round straight into the side, dead on, you can see the difference in the damage done. I'll send one more, just an example. There you go. Bear that in mind when either engaging other tanks or engaging scorpions and behemoths that positioning your armor appropriately will reduce the amount of incoming damage. And that's it. So there were a few that I uh, didn't actually put in here because I just, during editing was like, these are just not important or relevant and they're kind of common sense. But um, there might be like a more general tips video that I put out in the future, kind of a universal that applies to both factions in every case scenario. Nonetheless, I hope you find these useful. I hope that they improve your gameplay. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, maybe comment down below if you have some tips and tricks yourself and have a lovely day.